everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Talking of fantastic days, today is not one. Look at it, look at the weather outside. I thought, you know, last couple of days been really lush weather and I thought today it was gonna be nice as well, but obviously not. Absolutely miserable outside. And to be honest, I'm in a bit of a miserable mood as well. So, uh, <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> um, Okay, uh, eagle-eyed viewers may, may be able to note uh, and may realise that the last two videos I've taken down from YouTube. Um, I'm not going to go into detail, let's just say I filmed too much and uh, may have got told off for it. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm going to say on the matter. But um, yeah, never mind. Hopefully we can... Uh, just record on the road like we are now and I've, I've read some of your comments and a lot of you are saying that you don't mind me just driving like this and talking to you and as long as you don't mind that's fine that's, that's what I do so uh, absolutely zero recording in yard allowed uh, because one particular yard can't I'm not saying anything that's all I'm saying <laughs> I'm gonna dig myself a bigger hole if I keep talking so don't worry ignore it right I do have a little bit of an issue. I bought over the weekend uh, an external microphone. And by external microphone, I mean a portable microphone that I can take around with me. So um, I, at the moment, I'm talking to you through this microphone here. Hello, 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 testing one, two. And this microphone is connected to the GoPro that you're watching me on. And it's basically a wire which goes all the way around behind my seat, up past the window, across the window, and into the GoPro, which is fine for recording inside the cab, but it does mean if I do any recording outside the cab, which I have done in the past, and which I do plan on doing more so in the future, seeing as I can't record in yards, um, I, I decided to buy myself a external slash portable microphone, which still gets plugged into this. This would still plug into it, but the microphone, the, the device itself would be in my pocket basically, and I could walk around. So I bought one and I used it yesterday and um, to record a message regarding why my videos have been taken down. And I, I tried transferring the files over to my Mac and it wouldn't transfer over. It, the Mac would not recognize the device. I believe that it's only works, well, it's only gonna work on Windows-based machines and not an Apple machine. So um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to send it back. Fortunately though, it's probably a good idea because the recording I made yesterday was a bit sour and yeah, probably best I didn't upload that. So like I said, not talking anymore. That is my girlfriend calling me, so I'm gonna have to say bye for now and I'll see you in a bit. Hello? Hello. Right, where were we? So, we are just coming off the M27 now. <clears throat> we're heading back to Southampton, by the way, to get loaded for the morning. Uh, not for the morning, to get loaded to do the next delivery today. Just coming over to the left. Yeah, so <clears throat> I can't remember what I finished talking on. <laughs> yeah, like basically rubbish weather and can't film in yards, basically, end of story. So yeah, we're heading back now to get loaded for the next delivery. I don't actually know where it's going. So um, we'll have to wait until we get there, until we find out. Go on, I'll let you through. Go, 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 go. And um, yeah, I've had a shave. I had a shave uh, Sunday night, so I look a little bit like a baby, a kid with a fat face. But every time I shave, it always makes my face look bigger. I also need to get a haircut as well. My hair's getting too long. So hopefully I get a haircut over the weekend. <coughs> I'll tell you what's been annoying me recently, especially yesterday. There's been a load of closed roads down the south. The A34 by Winchester was closed yesterday because of an accident. And it was closed for pretty much most of the day. When I, I was traveling up to Winchester yesterday to do a delivery to Juicins. And um, it was on the sign saying that the A34 was closed. And I think it was around about 11 o'clock. And come sort of three o'clock in the afternoon, it was still closed. I was back down in Southampton waiting to get loaded and I had to do a delivery to Newbury, so, which is where we're coming back from now. 
So I couldn't go up to Newbury on the A34 because it was still closed. So the only other way up there really was going to go Basingstoke way, which is extra mileage. And I couldn't see the point of doing the extra mileage yesterday when I could just leave this morning early and get there this morning um, when the A34 was back open again. And um, I mean, the A34 was open, but the M3 wasn't. <laughs> so it's just the road closures and I have a nightmare. So this morning I had to do a diversion to get, I had to come off the M3 to get back on the M3 again, a few miles up the road. But I had to, it's, it's like a, a couple of miles extra diversion. But it's just like, can't you can't win. So I don't know, the only other thing I could have done is wait until late last night and do it, but then the road closure started at nine o'clock. So basically what I'm trying to say is too many road closures. There's another one there. Too many road closures around Southampton. It's becoming a bit of a nightmare, but I understand. I used to work for Tarmac. I used to fix the roads. They've got to be uh, resurfaced. So I, I do understand. I used to love road closures because it, it meant I was at my destination. But now I'm on the other end of the stick and I've got to try and find another way around. Never mind. <coughs> Never mind. Uh, in other news, I have been approached by Snooper. Um, Snooper are a company who sort of do dash cams and sat navs and all sorts of sort of electronic products like that. They approached me asking if I wanted to do a review on a dash cam. I said, why not? Just waiting for final um, confirmation that that will be going ahead. I know a few other vloggers have been um, approached as well, but I won't say who they are just in case they don't want to know. Just in case they don't want to tell, tell you yet that they've been approached, but there's, uh, there's there's two or three that I've that I know of that have been approached as well, and I'm sure they're going to make a video about it as well. So soon, sooner or later, you, a load of us is going to be making a video about Snooper, just so you're all warned. <laughs> It happened last time with Tom Tom, if you remember rightly, me and Chuck and Jay, Luke Vernon, we were all doing um, Tom Tom related products because we all get approached at the same time. That's how it works. So be warned, Snooper products, reviews, possibly, potentially on the way. Also, next month, which will be March, I said in the last video, but obviously the last video has been taken down, so I'm going to re-say it, so it's on record. Next month, in March, I have some news for you. I can not I can say what it is now, if I really wanted to, but I don't want it just in case it doesn't fall through, so um, hopefully it does. Um, I, well, I can tell you one half, I'm getting a new website redesigned. So I, I own lukeseenhtv.co.uk and lukeseenhtv.com. And I did have a website associated to that URL. Um, if you type in Luke C and HDV.co.uk into the website, into your browser now, it will say something along the lines of no such thing. That's because I've disconnected it from my um, website and I'm paying someone to, to make me another website. So that's one half. But um, there's something else which is happening, but um, I'll wait until uh, it's all set up. I'll say that. But it should be fun. And I'm looking forward to seeing it. Or them, shall I say. <laughs> I don't want to say too much, I don't want to ruin it. Some of you can probably guess. Um, one, someone did say, am I having an app made for me? No, I'm, I'm not having an app made for me. However, that being said, I quite like the idea of an app being made or a game of some sort with my branded on. So if there's anyone out there who wants to make a game or an app and uh, I'd be interested, so give me a shout. LukeCNHTV at hotmail.com is my email address if you want to send me an email. Completely up to you. But yes, um, not really sure what else I can talk to you about. The problem with not filming in yard is that I've got to come up with things to talk to you while I'm driving, and I just don't have a lot of things to talk to you about, which is why I do filming in yards. But we're getting there. Uh, we're, we're finding some other stuff to start filming. Is that bus staying in? It looks like it. We're only around the corner now. We're basically in Warston now. So let's go get loaded. Got no idea where we're going. Um, like I said, we've just been to Newbury. I'm pretty sure he said 
yesterday that um, it might be a far away place. And by far away, I mean like an hour, an hour and a half tops. It's not like miles and miles and miles away. But I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Let's go and find out what we got. Okay, I forgot to talk to you guys on the way to this job I'm at now um, because I was learning French. Not gonna lie. Me and the girlfriend and the kids, we want to go Disneyland Paris. So um, I decided let's try and learn some French. And so far I got bonjour, which apparently means good day. You can't use it at night, it's something else. And um, what was the other one? Excusez-moi, which is excuse me. That's all I've learned so far, so <laughs> i got more to do. But yeah, uh, I am actually in the yard now, so I'm being proper careful what you can see. Um, because I'm not allowed to film in yards, which is fine, it's fair enough. So, you don't know where I am, I don't think. I don't think I told you where I am. I'm in Andover. I'll tell you that bit, I'm in Andover, but I'm not telling you which company. So, especially this company anyway. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go, get tipped, and uh, I'll see you in a second when we get, when we leave here, and we go back to Southampton. Right, okie dokie, we are now leaving the site we've just been at in Andover. I'm not saying who the builders merchants are, because they're the ones that got funny with me for filming in their yard, which is completely understandable and fair enough. But we're leaving their yard anyway, and I don't think you can see it in the mirror, in the windscreen. Hopefully not. So, uh, yeah, we're on our way back to Southampton now where we're going to get loaded again. This time we are going to Winchester when we get back. But yeah, um, I do apologise for not being able to show any yards, but like, like I said, mentioned earlier, you, you guys apparently you don't mind, so as long as you're okay with it, that's fine. We won't film any yards. On a completely unrelated note, I'm thinking about starting a new segment called warning unfortunately i cannot uh, allow you to listen in on what i just said because according to my advisor it is wrong and i could land myself in more trouble and so i have unfortunately muted the conversation and sped this footage up and uh yeah let's hope they don't fire me <laughs> what do you think let me know anyway let's head back to southampton and then uh, i'll see you in a bit Right, so as always, plans change. We were heading back to Southampton to get loaded to go to Winchester. Um, we are now loaded and we are around the corner from a garden centre uh, in Rake. So that's where we're going to next. I've been here a few times before. I think I've been here like maybe three times. And um, yeah, it's not a bad place to, to get tipped. There's, uh, they've got one of those sort of like telly, what do you call them, telly handers, fault lifts, which means they can, they can unload me from one side, which is really good. There's a massive flood there. He hasn't even noticed it yet. Oh, he noticed that very late, didn't he? This just goes to show, right, even though I'm vlogging, I'm still paying attention. I get comments every now and then saying that it's dangerous, I'm not paying enough attention to the road. That just goes to show that. I'm paying more attention and I'm doing this as well. Anyway, so yeah, I've been here a few times. Um, the last time I come here, it was sort of like nine o'clock in the morning, sort of like quarter, quarter to nine in the morning, and there's a school um, next door to it. And I couldn't get in because all the school parents like parked in the way, so I had to wait. I'm not gonna have that problem today, hopefully, because we're gonna be there at quarter past two. There is a chance that when we leave, there could be some cars around but we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one. We'll have to wait and see. There's a girl that used to work here. She now works in a branch in Petersfield for a builder's merchant who I shall not name. She now works in that store, but she did work in this rate place, this rate garden center. So plan is get tips from here as quickly as possible. Hopefully it doesn't take any longer than an hour. It's an hour drive back. And hopefully we can get back to Southampton for about half past four and get preloaded for the morning. I've got absolutely no idea where we're going in the morning yet. I am ever so slightly worried about fuel. I'm just above quarter and I've got hook tomorrow to do yet. So I'm hoping there's uh, relatively short runs tomorrow. Two locals and a long run and one back would be ideal. 
the reason I've gone through so much fuel is because I've done a lot of long distance runs. I've done like two or three runs in Newbury. This one to Petersfield. Well, rake, just past Petersfield. And I've had loads of diversions I needed to do as well, first thing in the morning. Because of road closures and things like that. I've been stationary, sat in traffic for quite a while. So I'm trying to turn the engine off where I can, but it's just using more and more fuel. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna have to go because I'm only a mile away now from the place and uh, I'm not allowed to film, so I am not going to film. I will see you when we are unloaded and on our way back. Right, we are now tipped and we are now going. So we're just leaving the garden centre now. Didn't film on site. Right, this is going to be difficult because it's a, a very tight 180. We do not want to be going on the grass because it's going to be a very, very wet. There's nowhere to turn around down there, so we've got to do that 180 out. Right, so we're now free. Why is there so much mud all over here? I've got like mud on my door and on my steering wheel, why is that? I must have mud on my coat, which I put on my bed. Oh, I'll have a look later. I'll have a look later. All I know now is that we've got to uh, head back to Southampton and uh, they were they were worrying that I wasn't going to get back before five o'clock. Current ETA is five minutes to four, so I'm an hour ahead schedule, baby. Let's get loaded. And if I got to go somewhere like Newbury, then I need to make my way towards Newbury because the M3 is going to be closed again during the night. So if I don't if I don't get past the M3 tonight, I got to have a late start tomorrow. I don't really want to have a late start tomorrow. A, because I, could, I might then not be the first truck in line for wherever I'm going, and B, because Wednesdays I go home and tomorrow's Wednesday. So, um, yeah, let's go get, go get loaded, find out where we're going, and uh, take it from there. Bit of metal in the road, and then, I can't get my words out, bit of metal in the road back there. I just missed it. Right, see you in a bit. Right, situation is this. We have delivered and completed three deliveries today. You tested me now by remembering them. Newbury was the one we did this morning. Uh, and then we did an Andover. And then we did a rake, which is up near Petersfield. So they're the three we've done today. Oh, there's some nice black alloys. I want my, my um, Honda Civic Type S. I, I wouldn't mind some black alloys for myself. Anyway, so yeah, we've done these three deliveries. We are now ready to deliver for tomorrow morning. Preloaded is the word I'm looking for. And we are going to Portsmouth. Now, there is nowhere to park on the way to Portsmouth. So we will be parking in our favorite spot, which is under Itchin Bridge. And um, yeah, this, this will be where we are sleeping tonight. I don't sleep here every night. I know it sounds like I do, but I don't. <laughs> So pretty much every vlog I record I end up, ended up being here. But I do try and sleep close to where I'm delivering to. It's only because i got a Portsmouth run tomorrow that I'm sleeping here. So we are going to park next to that yellow truck. Who is already in there. And it's a foreign driver. Doesn't even look like he's in his truck. He's doing something else. And we will reverse in from down here. Oh, someone's got stuck here. Make sure I put my diff lock on then, shall I? Diff lock in reverse. Oh, it's a bit slippery. We made it. Diff lock off. Reverse on back. Next to him. And then turn. Oh, 
and just to be at 100% straight I'm going to go forward and get an optimal line in that sun is in my eyes and that driver's back now so he was obviously doing something I think that's as far back as I can go. Just gonna have a look and I'll be right back. Yes, that is as far back as we can go. So that's good. Uh, just gonna build up the air completely before I um, turn off the engine. And uh, let's just write down some paperwork but other than that we're done for the day so um yeah thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon bye bye